So this could well be a straight shootout between Lucas Finhager and Mattia Trezaria, who goes off gate five in green. And uh, Trezaria, the 2017 world champion, knows he must beat Finhager and make tonight's podium to be sure of his second title. Of the inside gate in red, Stanislav Berza, the wild card, the spoiler. Gate two in blue, the championship leader, Lucas Finhager. Gate three, white Kenneth Hansen, sixth place in his uh, first world championship appearance. He's made the ground final in only his second meeting. Gate four in yellow, it's Zach Weitneck, fifth place in Maurice S. And off the outside gate in green, it's Mathieu Trezaria, the closest rival to Lucas Finhager, who is one race away from this 2020 world title. For the record in the battle for the uh, places in the world championship podium, one rider not qualified for this race, but still in contention, Romano Hummel, who finishes 2020 on 30 points. He would earn a runoff for bronze if Hansen and Weitneck were to finish fourth and fifth, respectively, here. But the focus is on top spot. It's Lucas Finhager, mentored by his childhood hero, Robert Barth, himself four times a world champion. Finhager looking for his first title, going off gate two in the blue helmet color. The youngster just two weeks on from his 21st birthday and his main rival, Mattia Trezaria, the 2017 world champion, going in the green helmet colour off the outside. He was denied by a fall here in Jezhov back in 2013. Can he make amends tonight? Only the second ever Polish final and it's the decider. Takes up and away they go for the last race of the 2020 series and Finhager has completely missed the start. Lucas Finhager stranded at the back. Matteo Trezaria up into third. If things were to stay as they are at present, Trezaria would be world champion for a second time. Around the outside now comes Finhager to attack on the tail of Zach Weitnick. He's through into fourth position. Finhager has got nothing to lose now. He must fight his way through. Side by side with Matteo Trezaria, who now needs to pass Berza, but he's not going to because around the outside to pick off two riders in one move. It's Lucas Finhager through into second position and the tables have turned in the space of just a lap as Lucas Finhager is now well on his way to this 2020 World Championship. Trezaria needed to stay in front of the German. He was unable to do so. Finhager roared through, picked off Berza as well. He's still closing down Kenneth Hansen. The focus has been on the riders further down the order. Mathieu Trezaria has pulled up on turns one and two. Lucas Finhager is the 2020 World Champion. Finhager is Longtrack's number one. He's second over the line in the grand final. Kenneth Hansen peerless tonight. Six wins out of six. And quite rightly is the winner here this evening. The Dane takes the honours. But it's second position for Lucas Finhager in the final. And what a determined ride that was. He completely missed the start. Never will you see a more nervous start to a race that is going to determine a world championship. No surprises that the nerve ends were jangly. It was all on that final race. Finn Hager missed it. He was two places behind his main rival, Trezaria, who, if he'd held on there, two places clear of Finn Hager would have been champion by a point, but he couldn't do so. Finhager ripped around the outside to come through and it's Lucas Finhager who is congratulated by his team as he becomes the 2020 FIM Long Track World Champion.